as always if you guys are familiar with the live stream Alright, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to Midwood Athletic Center. This is Andre Johnson coming at you live from Sage Media Solutions. We have the Triple A PSAL Championship between Do It Clinton in the black and boys and girls in the blue in the white, excuse me. Let me know how the levels sound everyone. So of course, always at the beginning, we always like to do a sound check. Let me know how it sounds. It sounds a little glitchy. We'll get that fixed for you guys. Don't worry. This is a squib. Is it on the ground? Let's see who has it. Looks like boys and girls are going to keep it. It's going to be first and 10 boys and girls from about the 36-yard line. They're static, so give us a second. We're going to go look into that for you guys.
passes the ball down to the 19 yard line. Good enough for another. Boys and girls, first down. Hey, 
Donnie, it's about time you got out here, Donnie. <laughs>
to be as an announcement on the right hand side of the bleachers. Thank you.
Quick audio check. Getting ready to come back for the second half. Got the call from the big man. He said, no more chat. Y'all are misbehaving. What I tell y'all? I told y'all to misbehave in there. Now we got taken away. So good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for the patience. You know, with the rain, a little bit of complications, a little bit of static with the audio, but that should be all fixed now. So this is Andre Johnson here for you. Safety is going to call the rest of the game. Adjusting my audio a bit. Yep, I'm hearing myself. I'm definitely sounding louder now. All right, great. So welcome back to the stream, everyone. This is Andre Johnson for Sage Media Solutions. Thank you guys for trusting us with such an occasion today. Like I said, we had some audio issues, but you know, we got that going. We're gonna get replay going, hopefully midway through the third quarter. So for my opinion in that first half, that was boys and girls first half. Pretty much dominating possession. Pretty sure Dua Clinton only had maybe 
two or three first downs. They had the long play on the deflection. But overall, boys and girls really dominated that half. Should have had a two-score lead. Should have had a two-score lead. Weren't able to punch it in. So now, boys and girls, get ready to kick off to Clinton. Yeah, I definitely feel real lonely now without the chat. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it at home. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and to the to the stream. Obviously a lot of hard work goes into putting this together. But again, we're in service to the city. So we're getting ready to see who's going to be crowned the triple A champions. Takes the ball. Nice little return. Gets it to the 40 yard line. That's gonna be a first and 10 Clinton. So let's see what we got going on here. Sorry about I am controlling the scoreboard, so you guys can blame me. Remember, the scoreboard, the clock on the scoreboard is not official. So we have a first attempt for Clinton at the 40-yard line. Two receivers to the right, handoff. Has a lane. Edge is not set, and number two is up the sideline, making people miss. Getting all the way to the boys and girls 25. One of the biggest plays of the game, but there is a flag. There is a flag back at the 42-yard line. And it is coming back. Clinton shooting themselves in the foot with their most positive play of the game. That was number two, Tyler Cabasa on the run. It looks like a big penalty. It looks like a holding at the line of scrimmage. So it's going to be a first and 20. If that was more down the field, the holding, Clinton would be in better field position. But unfortunately, it was at the, the line of scrimmage. So it was a first and 20 for Clinton as they try to do it again. Handoff. This time, Tyler doesn't go far. This could be a second and very long, about a 19. Ball all the way on the 32 yard line. Clinton has proved they can have some success, success through the air. We'll see if they go back to it. And another whistle. like Clinton is going to be going even further back for this second down. Making it a second and 24. Bulls on the 28 yard line now. A lot of penalties in that first half. I think boys and girls, there was one possession where they had three false starts false starts holdings all over the place but you know this is a championship game I'm sure both teams have some jitters number one Edgar Barreras takes a snap looking looks right throws right and has a man and it is complete down to the 25 yard line 
That is Ronald Knight with the huge conversion for Dewey Quinn. All the way down to the boys and girls 25 yard line. Clinton is right back on the ball, ready to go. Three receivers to the left this time. Boys and girls trying to get set. Holds it. Gets the edge. Oh, it is set by number 11. That's Taj Bailey setting the edge there. Was looking a little scary for a minute for boys and girls. Thought Edgar could get to the edge as we have an injured boys and girl player. It's actually going to be a loss of four there. We have an injury timeout. It's a boys and girls player. I didn't see the number. Definitely open. He's okay. By the second 20. Second and 20 deep in their own territory. Clinton getting one of their biggest play of the game. Looks like big number 57. Sonny Cadova is doing all right. Boys and girls back to the 29-yard line. Both teams coming in at 9-1. and one. Dewey Clinton is the one seed in this game. As we have a second and 14. Tighter formation. Motion's right. Handoff. Makes a nice cut. Tries to bounce it outside. And he's close to the first down. Getting that was number two. Tyler Cabasas. Making a very third and manageable. It's about a third and four. It's not third and 94. <laughs> third and four. Clinton's first time in the red zone. On about the 16 yard line. Motion left. Handoff. Keeps it. And good hit. I, I thought he had the first down. It's either the first down or it's going to be in inches. And the, let's see where they spot the ball here. They might have to get the chains out. No signal. And it's going to be a first down. First down, Clinton. That looks very close. I was wondering if they're going to get the chains out. But that ball's right on the 15-yard line. First and Clint. Motion left. Handoff. Has the edge. And blockers in front of him. But good play. Chasing from behind. It was number nine, Cassius Frazier. Making that play from behind. Had blockers in front of him. Definitely thought he had a lane there. That's going to be a short game. Second and nine. Number 13 out left. Motion. Another handoff. Tries to bounce it, but number one, Jalen Jalen Smith does a great job setting the edge. So we have about balls on the 11 yard line. Big play in this AAA championship. About a third and six. The 
defense chance are starting. Huge play for boys and girls. Can they get a stop deep in their red zone? Hands off. Tries to get the edge. Big tackle. That's Jalen again on the play. And it's a fourth down. It's going to be a fourth and three. Ball's on about, looks like the six yard line. As Clinton shifted. Not sure what happened. I heard a whistle there. Not sure what happened. The ref just stopped the, the play. So I can see a little clearer now. So it's about a third and four, actually, from the five yard line. Excuse me, that's the nine, nine, nine yard line. Excuse me. Big play in this game. Handoff. Looks like he has enough for the first down. It's going to be close. And they call it first down, boys and girls. I thought he had enough. Are they going to bring the chains? No, we can see it from here. He was about a yard short. So boys and girls are going to pick up first and ten. Big stop for boys and girls in this game. Boys and girls will take over from about the six-yard line. I saw Jalen Smith all over the field there. Pretty sure he was the one to make that play. Do it, Clinton, with their best drive of the day. The kangaroos stand tough. It's all about bend, but don't break. The biggest cliche in sports. The on the field clock says 622. We're trying to get that caught up. Boys and girls in a tight formation. Handoff. Doesn't get too far. Get a, about one yard a game. Second and nine. Hope everyone's having a nice Sunday. Everyone's. I know uh, there are a lot of people at, here at Midwood. But for you, those of you at home, hopefully you're enjoying the live stream. It's a second and nine. Goes on about, I think about seven. For the girls, tight formation. Three in the backfield. Handoff. Stop quickly. Got about. Got about a yard there. It's going to be a third and five. First down would be huge here for boys and girls. They're pretty deep in their own territory. Balls on the 12. The worst case scenario, you definitely want to give your punter some room. Fourth, fourth girls wants the first down. Third and five. Boys and girls keeping their own territory. Toss. It was red, and it goes nowhere. That's number 24, Gabriel, coming up and making the tackle. And in the rain, every punt has to extra care. Ball is slippery. It's all about the snap. Punter catching it clean and kicking it off. It's now it looks like a game of field position. This is number 10, Xavier Garcia, back for the punt.
Good snap. Takes a sideways punt. But I think boys and girls will take that. Take that at the 39-yard line. First and 10, Clinton. Like I said, every punt scenario, when it's this wet outside, definitely have to hold your breath. First and 10, Clinton back out on the ball quickly. There's another flag. Probably not flag number 12 of the day. Second, excuse me, first and 15. Ball's on about 44-yard line in kangaroo territory. Pistol, handoff. And again, guess who? Jalen coming up from that position to make another play. Pretty sure that was a no game. It's like a loss of one, actually. We'll keep it second and 15. Second and fifth. Second and 15 from about, about the 33 yard line. Excuse me. 48 yard line. Looking to throw. Throws deep. Has a man. It is caught. Number seven. Touchdown. Drew it. Clinton. Calvin Collins Jr. Clinton lulled them to sleep, threw it right over the top. And again, that's the second, that's the second time Clinton had it second or third and 20 to go in a huge play. Clinton looking to take the lead here in this championship. Handoff. He gets in. And that's going to be 8 6 Clinton as they have flipped this game. This looks like number 57 is cramping second time. That's Sonny Cadova. Again, that's the second time it was first and 20 to go. And Clinton strikes for a 30, 40 yard touchdown. Look at that 48 yard touchdown to number seven, Calvin Collins Jr. Seven is able to get up. Again, I still think boys and girls do is controlling the game for the most part. Just big plays have bit them. As you hear the Clinton fans get into it, the Tim G game is all about momentum. How's boys and girls going to take their first real gut puncher of the game? Yeah. 
Low kick. It's recovered. He's going to run it, try to return it. He goes down right at the 35-yard line. First and 10 for the Kangaroos. Field clock says 2.36. Just that. So just reminded the clock on the stream is not official, and the clock on the field isn't official as well. The only official clock is with the, ofi the official. I'm telling you guys, say official. <laughs> so first and ten for boys and girls. Tight formation, handoff. That was Tyler White. No, excuse me. I see that number seven. Joel Ryan on the carry. Getting about four. Second and six. Let's open up the offense, coach. As again, the Clinton fans are into it. Trying to cheer on their team. The game could definitely go either way at this point. He's going to take momentum into that fourth quarter as we have a second and six. Looking to throw. Going to run it. Has the lane. Goes out of bounds. Great decision making. Pretty sure that was number seven again. Well, Ryan. I know, excuse me, that was number one. Jalen Smith. First and ten. So the boys and girls' biggest plays of the day as they are now in Dewey Clinton territory on the 41 yard, yard line. Hand off. Here's a flag. Definitely reacted very late there. Looks like it's going to be no call. It's going to be a false start. On boys and girls. The first and 15 for boys and girls. And that's going to be a timeout, boys and girls. First timeout of DAB. So again, there's definitely no, no need for either team to panic. Playing football left. Just got to take it possession by possession, play by play in the championship game. As you can see, momentum can swing one way or the other. So who's going to be able to keep their head and be able to bring their trophy back? Man, it's lonely over here, man. Just having to chat. Ball on the 46-yard line. I'm really liking boys and girls' offense. I mean, they're getting about four yards of run. I would definitely stay on the ground. First and 15. Handoff. Right up the middle. Breaks two. Carries three. And that's the whistle. They still didn't bring him down. He's pumped. Well, Ryan, looks like he, he got a majority of that back. Mm -hmm. 
That was a game about 10. Ball's on the 36-yard line. Second and six. Second and six. Another handoff. Right back to Joel. And this time they're there. Quicker whistle. Two plays in a row. Still haven't brought Joel to the ground. Tough running. Called a third and two. Definitely four down territory here. Can't see, obviously, can't, can't see them kicking a the field goal here. So it's definitely going to be four down territory. So two downs to get two yards. On the on-the-field clock, there's 19 seconds. Third and two. Sneaks definitely has it. Gain of four, five. Great job by Jalen Smith. Do it all, man, for boys and girls. That will be the quarter. Put your fours up. If you're at home watching from Brooklyn, rooting for boys and girls, or if you're up in the Bronx, rooting for Dewey Clinton. Fourth quarter is where championships are won and lost. So here we go. Strap in. Reminder, this stream is brought to you by Sage Media Solutions. Please make sure you, you guys follow us on our Instagram. Tag on the screen. If you have any business inquiries, please visit us at our website on the screen. We've been getting a lot of support lately. Very honored to be calling this game here. So let's work more. Boys and girl has it on the 26-yard line, just outside the red zone. Again, I'm thinking it's four down territory all the way through here. Hand off. That was the number seven, Joel Ryan. Probably gain of three. If anyone's played football, I'm sure you've had a coach who's told you, if we get three and a half yards every play, we're good to go. Because that's going to be a first down every time. A little short of that three and a half, but a gain of one. Second and nine. Ball's on the 25-yard line. The Clinton fans trying to root on their team. Handoff, the number 12. Just keep, them, keep the legs chopping. There's that three and a half I was talking about. He's at the third and seven. And again, you got to imagine it's two down territory here. Four down territory, I should say. Ball's on about 22-yard line. And since we're in the fourth quarter, it's definitely time to keep an eye on the clock. How many possessions are left in this game? Third and seven. Handoff. Pulls it. Jalen's going to keep it. And he has enough and more for the first down. Inside of 10. That's going to be a first and goal, boys and girls. That ball is on the nine-yard line. So 
this is very important here. Boys and girls has to get it in the end zone because you see we're, we're ready within 10, 10 minutes as it's called to play. Handoff. Pushes and is he in? Is he in? No call from the ref. And that's going to be short. Second and goal from the one yard line. So again, the point I was saying before, it's very important for boys and girls to get it in here because you see the clock. How much time will Clinton take with the with the lead? So it's very crucial for boys and girls to get in the end zone with three bites at the apple. Handoff. That's a touchdown, boys and girls. That first score, 12 to 8. Let's try to go to our first replay of the game. We'll get the audio on that as well. But as you can see, that was easy work for boys and girls. And like I was saying, it could have been bad if they couldn't get it in. But we don't have to talk about the hypothetical. Because they're going for two. Very important here. Looks right. Throws right. Has a man. It's caught. Two-point conversion is good. Why is that so important? Because now, if Do It Clinton scores, they have to score a two-point conversion to go ahead. So honestly, if you look at the clock, I know there's 7.42. You gotta imagine, if Clinton can't get into the end zone here, will they see the ball back? The on the field clock says looks like 9.38. So actually a little more time on the clock. But if you can see, boys and girls took three minutes just to go about 30, 40 yards. So 30 yards in three minutes. Got to adjust that clock. 30 yards in three minutes. This could be Clinton's last chance to score without in have, being in panic mode. It's a big kickoff here. Anytime the ball's in the air and it's raining, got to hold your breath. The ball's on the ground. He falls on it. That's a first and ten. Clinton ball on the thirty yard line. A little under 400 people in the chat right now. Excuse me, there's no chat. 400 people watching the live stream. Thank you so much for supporting local high school football. We got a lot of drama in this one. Handoff. Keeps the feet going. Big hit. The push back. Guess who? Jalen Smith is always coming from the bottom of a pile. Love that player. But that's going to be a second M5. Take the five. Handoff to 13. Goes right to the ground. There's a flag on the play. It's in the backfield, though. Can't see what that would be. Anything else but a holding. That was thrown late. 
was a very late flag. Could it be holding? Is in the area of holding. Face mask. Devastating call for the for boys and girls. Is that was going to be a third and long? But it was a personal foul face mask. So that brings Stuart Clinton all the way to the 46-yard line. First and 10. First and 10. Motion. Handoff. Has the edge. Big run from Tyler Cabasas. That's going to be another first down, Clinton. Balls on. They're now in boys and girls territory on the 41. Game is definitely hanging in the balance. That looked like a false start. Yep. Saw that even from up here. Forty-six. Ball's back on the forty-six yard line. The clock is running. Clock is running on this Triple A championship. Again, is this going to be Clinton's last possession? Handoff. Nice cut. That's Tyler. Gets it back. Gets it back to about the original line of scrimmage. It's going to be a second and nine. So he made up for the penalty. Let's go. Second and nine. Second down. Another flag. Looks like boys and girls are going to give it to Clinton. Making it a second and much more manageable. Be a second and five. Ball is now right on the 35-yard line. Handoff. Back to Tyler. Makes a cut. Guess who on the big hit? Do I need to say it anymore? Right now, Tyler. Great vision, fighting the hole, soft spot in the defense. And that's going to be a Clinton first down as they're marching down the field. How big will that penalty prove to be? He's waiting for the call there. And there is another flag. And that will be a false start on Clinton. Both teams on edge. Need to settle down. Let me take a little look. It says there's 623 left on the clock. Let's get a start. So I'm gonna keep his I'm gonna keep the clock stopped for this play. Handoff. Another big run from Tyler. Makes it another second and much more manageable. We have a man down. Four boys. So as I was saying, that boys and girls is having trouble 
Excuse me, as I was saying, Clinton was having trouble stopping Let's boys and girls defense. run. That is now converted to boys having a tough time stopping Co Tyler. How much more time can Clint chew off the clock? I'd say, of course they can score the next play, but I'd say in about another two minutes if they keep it the way they're going. So boys should definitely get a chance to win this game, regardless of what happens. Ball's on the 30-yard line. Let's go, defense! That actually was Jalen Smith. That would be a big loss to boys and girls, but thankfully he's able to walk back onto his feet. As the clock starts, we're within six minutes. Within about six minutes. Second and nine from the 30. Hand off. Back, back to Tyler. Does a great job at at least getting a few yards there. I thought that was going to be dead and buried. Tyler turned a zero yard gain into about a two or three yard gain. So that's going to be a third and about six. Here we go. 36, you've got to imagine they're going to have two chances to get six here. Can't see him kicking the field goal. No reason to. Looking to throw. Throws deep. Has a man. And it's incomplete. I'm pretty sure he threw to the wrong man there. The receiver on the edge was open. Didn't catch it in the replay, unfortunately. But it looked like he needed to throw to the the most outside receiver there. Not the inside receiver. But regardless, the offense stays on the field for fourth down. Crucial play in this championship. And there's going to be a timeout. Timeout, boys. As they want to make sure they get their defense together here on this crucial play. Because again, you have to imagine if Boys and Girls is able to get the stop here, they got to be able to chew at least two or three minutes in this game, if not more, with the way they've been having success running the ball. This is usually where I ask the chat, what do you think? You would call it if you were playing Madden and you were controlling do it Clinton. Again, I can't, I can't see them keeping it on the ground. They've had success through the air. So you've got to imagine they're going to test that boys and girls secondary. Fourth and six. Game could be in the balance here. Reverse. Has the edge. Can the boys and girls guy get there? He can't. And he has more. Touchdown. Do it, Clinton. And that's again number seven, Calvin Collins Jr. What a call, what a play. So again, that shows how important that two-point conversion on the other side was. Because now for Clinton to get the lead, they have to convert this two-point conversion. Let's go, defense! Make this play up top! Can't imagine. They probably got to go back to number two, Tyler Cabasas. He brought them all the way here. 
can't see them going anywhere else. Here we go. And there's a flag. Oh, there's that timeout. Timeout, Clinton. Must have seen something they didn't like. I think boys and girls will be real disappointed on that play. Of course for the result, but also because you saw the reverse. It looked like looked like Collins had enough for the first down at least. But for it to turn into a touchdown is real devastating. That's Calvin's second touchdown on the day. So again, if I'm playing Madden, I gotta go back to my guy who's got me all the way down here, which is Tyler. He's been able to find a little rift in the defense. He was able to make zero into two, two into six. Can he get three to put Clinton in the lead in this Triple A championship? Tyler in the backfield. Holds it, keeps it, and big tackle! Guess who? Guess who on the big hit? That's Jalen Smith! Playmakers make plays! All half long I've been calling out big number one. And again, when his team needs it the most, whether it's running, whether it's on defense, Jalen is there. As we are all tied, 14-14. Field clock says 425. So you gotta ask, the, the kicks have been pretty short from Clinton. Are they gonna go to kick it down the field or are they gonna kick it short, try to get the ball back? So we're gonna set it to 425. No drama like live sports. You can watch it back on the Instagram reel. You can watch the mixtape, but there's nothing like live sports with the championship on the line. Squib kick again. Flips up. Has a lay. Big hit by 41. As boys and girls is going to take it from the, let's call that the 37 yard line. Let's go, offense! Make sure you share out this 426 in the live stream right now. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for supporting boys and girls and Clinton as they fight for this AAA championship. Could this be the last possession of the game? Handoff. Fakes it. That's going to be a loss. Quarterback kept it. It's going to be about a loss of one there. Somehow he gained one. I definitely thought he lost one on that. So second and nine. Let's go, offense! Let's go, oh! Second Let's and go nine. Go. 
Handoff. Had a lane. Definitely thought he tiptoed a little bit. Thought he had a lane there, number 12. That was Jamie. Got a pretty nice grain, though. About a third and five. Ball's on the 42-yard line. Clock is ticking. Third and five. Game is in the balance. I'm not, I don't think we're at the four-minute warning yet because the, the rest will stop for the four-minute warning. And there's a flag. Is that a flag? I don't think it's a flag. On the sideline? Standing up, looking at the ref. Looks like he's talking to the boys and girls sideline. Looks like that was just a sideline warning. Jalen Smith has the play. The on the field clocks is 3:35. Huge third down. Hand up. Huge lane. Can he get through? Pushing, carrying for the first down, boys and girls, number seven, JoLynn Ryan. Ball is on the Clinton 32-yard line by a gain of 20. There's another flag. And that's going to be encroachment on Clinton. Moving forward five yards. Who's going to keep their composure? A lot of pressure on these young men. Championship on the line. Again, as an athlete, you can't ask for anything more. You want to have, you want to be on the field with the game on the line. Offense or defense. Defense, you think you're the man to make the play, to make the stop. Offense, you want to be the star. Handoff. Positive game. Going back to Joel and Ryan. Second and three. Ball's right on the 25-yard line. The on-the-field clock says 2.13. Remember, neither the on-the-screen clock or the on-the-field clock is official. We'll try to catch you up, guys up with the clock. It says... It's about 2.10 and counting on the field. Three in the backfield. Handoff. Has the edge. Keeping them going. That's number two, Tyler White. And that's a timeout, Quinn. Ball is on the 17-yard line. So, again, this is where I would tell the chat, I told you so, how many possessions are left in this game. The way it's planning out, Clinton might get the ball one more time, depending on how boys and girls manages the clock. But the way boys and girls is going, you, they could easily take another minute out of this clock. As the on the field clock says 147. Get that adjusted for you. 147 on the clock.
Ball is on about the 17. As the chants are going. Getting the play from the sideline. Jalen under center. Handoff to Joel. Big stop. I was number 72, Freeman on the stop. And it looks like that was another timeout. Didn't see who took that timeout. We have a second and eight. That was a do with Clinton timeout. That's their last timeout. Second and eight from the 15 yard line. Is the Triple A championship going to Brooklyn or is it going up to the Bronx? Jalen under center. Keeps it. Still on his feet. Was that enough for the first down? Looks like it's short. So that's going to be a third and two from the nine-yard line. Third and two from the nine-yard line. On the field clocks is 105 and counting. Handoff to Joel. Think he has enough. And that's going to be short. Fourth and one. And that's... A, so they're making 57 come off the field. I'm not sure why. Did his helmet come off? I'm not sure what happened there. Clock is running, though. Fourth and one. Fourth and one. Timeout, boys and girls. Both teams are out of timeouts. Five hundred people in the chat, in the live stream. Thank you for watching. Make sure you share it out. On the field, it says 31 seconds. Remember, neither on the field or on the screen is official. Fourth and one here. If Clinton can get the stop, they'll have a chance to win the game. Fourth and one. Got to dig deep for this yard. Who's going to be able to dig? Sneak. Didn't have movement. The second effort. The second effort. There was no initial push. We're waiting on the call. Officials timeout. They might come out with a measurement. We're waiting for the call. I've, I have not seen an official call yet. I think they're coming out with the change from the box. It looks short from the box. They need to get to the eight. That's the, they need to get to the seven yard line. It's literally going to come down to inches. They need to get to the seven.
The chain gang is coming out. The initial push was stopped, but the second effort might have been enough. Waiting for the call here. We're waiting. It is. First down, boys and girls. Right? That looks like a first down. No, Clinton's celebrating. That looks like a first down. We can see it. That looks like a first down. I'm not sure what the holdup is. That's a first down, boys and girls. That was very confusing. Sorry for the fans at home. Not sure what the holdup was. We can see it from the box. You can see it from at home that it was about a half a football length for enough. So it's a first and goal, boys and girls. Remember, no timeouts left. Ball's on the seven-yard line. Clock has started. Boys and girls. Keeps it. There will be no more stops. On the field says within 10 seconds. So it's a third and goal. Championship in the balance. On the field, five seconds. Boys and girls might have enough time for one more play. Two if they make a quick throw. Third and goal from the seven. Triple A championship on the line. Keeps it. He's going to run it. Does he have enough? He's in. Touchdown, boys and girls. Guess who? Number one, Jalen Smith. Elation for boys and girls, devastation for Clinton, and that is the game. Boys and girls are your PSAL AAA champions. Elation for the Kangaroos. As our final score is 20 to 14. Boys and girls are your champions. There could only be one Sage Media standout. And that is Jalen Smith. We love to do the interviews. Of course, too much going on. We have another game right after. We're definitely going to try to contact Jalen after the game. But he is the hero for boys and girls. Whether it was on defense or offense. And when the game was on the line, there was only enough time for one more play. Jalen called his own number. We will keep streaming for the ceremony, the ring ceremony, but I am going to sign off. Please stay tuned. At 1.30, we have the 4A championship as Aramis Hall tries to make it five. But let's see if the Pirates of Tottenville have something to say about that. So, again, this is Andre Johnson.
coming at you live from Midwood High School. This is Sage Media Solutions. I'm signing off, but we're going to stay on for the ring ceremony. Thank you. I'm, I'm trying to see right now. I'm trying to see. I, 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 I'm trying to go around so I can put the kids on the other side. I'm going to move. I'm going to move. Okay.